Hello everyone, Fed here and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build my pumpkin door. Now, I know that sounds a little bit weird because I've never seen something like this before, but we're going to be using a pretty much simple lever lock, but we have to get into our door by using a pumpkin. Now, my combination right over here to get inside my door is 1A, 910B, and 13C. Now, when someone normally sees that, they might go, okay, so 1A. So here is side A. So I'm going to have to flip down the one. Well, there's no lever at one. So I have no idea what that means. And then over here, we have 9, 10. So I have to flip down 9 and 10. And then, of course, the last one is going to be 13C. So I have to flip down 13 and my door should open. And nope, that is not how this door works now this is perfect for maybe if you're making some sort of map and you want to add redstone or maybe you're just a redstone lover and love to have redstone in your map but guys this idea i think is a pretty sweet because the concept behind it is fairly new i don't think i've ever seen anyone else do this before but to get inside our door we actually have to wear a pumpkin on top of our head so our first one over here like i said is 1a then 910b then 13c so i have to come over here to side 1a so i have to stand in between these two pumpkins here I am at 1A, so I have to look at 1. Now, which lever looks really, really highlighted right now? And that is number 3. 3 looks super highlighted. It looks like there's so much light just pulsating on that lever. So let's go ahead and flip down 3 right here. I just see when I'm looking at 1A, that one is really, really, really lit up. Now, for the second part of the combination, we have to put in 910B. So we're going to come over here to B side, stand right between these two pumpkins, and we're going to have to look at 9 and 10. So let's go ahead and look at 9 and 10. And which levers look super duper highlighted of course that's going to be number eight and number 11 so we have to flip down number eight and number 11 let's go ahead and look at it one more time as you see if we're looking between nine and ten those levers look extremely highlighted compared to the other ones and now last but not least 13 c so we come to c side stand between these two pumpkins right here so here's c side and we're gonna have to look at number 13 and which one looks extremely highlighted right here and that of course is going to be number 15 and boop there, our door has opened up, and that is basically how this whole thing works. We are using the eye holes of the pumpkins to figure out what levers we have to flip down. So let's go ahead and see what's inside my secret room. And yeah, of course, there's going to be thousands upon thousands of pumpkins. Well, in reality, maybe 50 pumpkins inside my secret room. And then, of course, I can go flip down the lever and close it up. But I don't know why I would want to be alone with all these pumpkins. Let's go ahead and leave. And even one lever off will close the door very simple simple contraption guys as you see there's nothing to this it's just a straight up lever combination lock but the idea premise behind it i think is a pretty cool one something that i've never seen on minecraft before having to use a pumpkin to open up a secret door so i'm going to be doing this exact one right here you can of course make it way bigger if you'd like to but let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial all right guys so i'm not going to be giving a definite spacing for this build but i do have the resource list the reason why i'm not giving a definite spacing because you don't have to dig down whatsoever now this does work on pocket edition but you can't build the jeb door on pocket edition you're gonna have to use something else now the resources you're going to need for this build are 12 sticky pistons three redstone repeaters six redstone torches 28 redstone 16 levers and at least 21 signs and of course a pumpkin now if you're gonna make this thing way bigger you're gonna need a lot more if you're gonna make it smaller you're gonna need a lot less so once you've gathered up all your resources we're gonna need a line of 16 blocks on a wall so let's make our wall right here so this is gonna be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 now like I said if you want to make it way bigger go ahead and do that but for now I'm gonna keep mine at only 16 levers then let's go ahead and double down on these layers with a different color for our lever. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and number 16. Next up, go ahead and place all 16 of your levers off the sides of the blocks, just like that. There we go. And then what I also like to do is just put a little border around it, because then it will really make those quartz blocks pop out. If you're using the same color as me, I'm using black stained clay and quartz, and this will just make the levers pop out a little bit more from the wall. Next up, go ahead and take out your signs, and starting from the left-hand side, we're going to put down 18 signs along the entire bottom area. So right here, we're going to go ahead and just put one in, and I'm going to do that for the whole way. I'm not going to go along and do the entire one, because then it's going to take forever, but then so on and so forth. One, two, and then three, four, all the way down to 18.
All right, guys, so now we need to set up the distance from the levers with our two blocks so we can wear a pumpkin and figure out exactly where our combination is going to be going. Now, I'm going to easily just tell you right now it's going to be 3, 4. It's going to be 9, 10. And it's also going to be 15 and 16. But the easiest way to figure this out if you're making it a lot longer is just after every five numbers, add in two blocks. So pretty much what we're going to do is skip number two right here. And we're going to come out four blocks, one, two, three, four, and place two blocks like this on three and four. Now we just have to count over and make sure there's five numbers in between number fours. But just telling you now, all you have to do is just count over five blocks from this one right here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this is where the next two are going to go on nine and ten. Same thing again, count over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then place in two like that. And if you're going to make it a lot longer than this, just the same thing over and over again, guys. There should be four blocks in between every two. So there's two here, then four, two, four, two, and then keep going. Four, two, four, two, so on and so forth. If you want to make this thing a ton, ton bigger. Now, this part, we're going to figure out what our combination is going to be. So go ahead and take out your pumpkin, place it on your face. And this is where you get to choose what your combination is. So we have to stand in between these two pumpkins right here and then look at which ones are highlighted. So as you can see, between three and four, number two and five are highlighted. When we look at one over here, number three is highlighted. When we look at number six over here, number four and five are highlighted. When we look at seven, number six and five are highlighted. You have to think about which ones you want to keep highlighted and you have to make sure you are in the reach of the lever. Now I'm on creative so I can hit this lever a lot further on survival. You won't be able to do this. I'm pretty sure you can only hit up to number six on survival. Now let's go ahead and quickly switch it over to survival so we can just see how far we can hit this lever. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm already on survival. I'm on survival on both. How is this even possible? How is that? Even, did you guys both? Did, did anyone see that? <laughs> I had it set to survival somehow, but I was playing on creative. That makes no sense whatsoever. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so let's switch it back to survival. And there we go. So let's see how far we can hit the lever from between these two blocks. So we can hit down to, can I hit number seven? Yes, I can. So I can hit down to at least number seven right here. So that's the furthest we can possibly hit down to on side 1A. So let's say I wanted on side 1A, let's say I wanted to look between 4 and 5. So if I wanted to look between 4 and 5, as you can see, number 3, 6, and 7 are highlighted. So I'm going to make mine between 4 and 5. So number this one right here, this one right here, and can I hit it? There we go. So when I look between 4 and 5, I, hit, I can hit all three of those levers from side 1A. Now you can choose whichever ones you want to, but like I said, you can only hit from 2 over to seven when you're on side 1A on survival. So just keep that in mind. So mine is going to be between four. I mean, five, uh, yeah, four and five, I believe it was. Yep. So it's going to be three, six, and seven like that. So just figure out which levers you want to switch down and just keep them down for now. And then we're going to add the redstone to the back. So now here, then in the middle, let's go ahead and figure out which ones we can hit possibly hit. So I was able to hit down to seven from there. So let's just count over how many levers so I don't have to re-switch it back to survival. So I could hit over from between these two. So one, two, three, at least four levers down. I can hit at least four levers down. So if I stand right here, I should be able to hit four levers down from 10. So one, two, three, four. So I should be able to hit down to at least 13 between these ones. So now let's see which ones I want for these ones. So if I look between nine and 10, so number eight and 11 would be highlighted. If I looked over here between seven and eight, now remember some of the levers are already switched down on those ones. So we don't have to re-switch them down. So if you can make it to where you can make it really hard, where if you want to, you can make it so you have to switch them back up when you're on the next one. So that one would keep it actually locked. But if you switch it back, that's just getting a little crazy and a little out of hand, though, if you want to do that. So if you really wanted to, like I said, if, uh, let's, you know, let's go to do that. Why not? Why not? Well, let's go and do that. So between seven and eight, let's say I want my next one to be between seven, and eight. So number 10 and number six are highlighted. Can I hit number five from here? I'm not sure if I can hit number five from here. No, I cannot. So if I look between seven and eight, Number nine and number six are completely highlighted. That means I would have to switch down number nine and then have to switch back up number six. See, now we're getting a little crazy here. Now we're getting a little intense with this thing. So this thing could be actually pretty crazy when you think about it. So that's going to be the next one. So between four and five for that one. And then now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do number seven and number eight. So four and five, seven and eight. And then over here, let's just go with an easy one so I don't have to go too crazy with this. Let's just do 15 and 16. So number 17 and 14 are completely highlighted. So bloop and bloop. There we go. So that's going to be my combination. Let me go and take off my pumpkin. So my combination is going to be 3, 7, 9, 14, 
and number 17. So once you have your combination figured out on what you want, let's go ahead and just place in redstone torches behind every lever that is flipped down. So mine's gonna be this one right here. So if I place a, a redstone torch here, as you can see, it goes off and this one is on. So we wanna place a redstone torch off the back of every lever that is flipped down. So number seven is right here. So boop like that, there we go. There's number seven. And then the next one is going to be number nine. So just come to the backhand side, place down a redstone torch, it should go off. And then the next one is going to be number 14. So come back here, place in a redstone torch for number 14. And then the last but not least one is going to be number 17. Now what you should do is actually write down your combination. Of course, if you're doing this in some sort of game that you're adding, you're gonna wanna write it down for people or they're never gonna figure it out. So mine is going to be A, four, five, B, seven, eight, and then C is going to be 15 and 16. So here we're gonna go. We're gonna go A, so A side, is pretty much going to be four and five. So we're gonna have to look between sign four and five. B is going to be between seven and eight. So seven, eight. And then C is going to be between, I forget actually, I believe it's 15 and 16. I'm gonna hope and cross my fingers or else I'm gonna have to tear down this sign and redo the entire thing. And nope, I was right. Okay, it's between 15 and 16. So that's my combination. A is between four and five. B is between seven and eight. And C is between 15 and 16. Now you don't have to go crazy and have to look between them. If you don't want to, you can just look at a normal sign and put in your combination, but that's going to be my combination. Now we already have all our redstone torches. And so now all we have to do is just take a line of blocks and place a line of blocks going down this entire thing. And then every, underneath every single redstone torch, don't place a block. So a block here, skip it. And then make sure you don't place any blocks underneath any redstone torches. So that's all you have to do just like that and like that. So that's going to be pretty much our entire combination. Take down redstone and make sure you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now that means this one will not reach all the way down here. So we have to add a repeater somewhere in between all these blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and just break this redstone and add a repeater going that way right there. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then it will reset back to 15. 1, 2, and then so on and so forth so now all we have to do is just hook this up to a jeb door now if you're building this on pocket edition this will not work since Je this jeb door in particular will not work on pocket edition if you want to look up a jeb door to build on pocket edition go ahead and do that but i know it's a lot harder on pocket edition so what we're going to do is place up a block right in front of our redstone with a redstone torch on top of it so take your redstone torches out and place it in just like that so to get things started off come out a block and then up two so one two so we have three blocks going up towards the left with redstone along all three of them. Then I'm gonna come up over here, one more block, and then come out three. So one, two, three, with redstone along all of it. So as you see right here, we came up three, and then we went over three. Now we're gonna place a redstone torch off the side, and this is where we're going to be building our jeb door off this redstone torch. So take out some blocks to choice. You will be able to see these blocks come right underneath the two blocks, one, two, like that, and then come out one and place two pieces of redstone like this. Now, like I said, this does not work on pocket edition so don't build this whole thing if you want to build a jeb door on pocket edition you can look up one i've never done one on my channel yet maybe i'll do one in the future but for you guys you're going to have to do something just a tad bit different than everyone else so now coming out on this side we're going to come out three blocks one two and three like that and do the same thing on this side one two three like that take out your redstone repeaters and place two redstone repeaters coming out of the redstone like this way on two ticks and this way on two ticks as well place redstone in both in front of both of them so bloop and bloop and now we can go ahead and place in our jeb door. So place in four sticky pistons right along the back side of this redstone right here. And then two facing forwards with your block of choice in front of it. I'm going to be using blue stained clay. And then same thing on this side under this redstone. Place in four sticky pistons. One, two, three, four. Two facing forwards and two blocks in front of those as well. Now we can go ahead and test it out to make sure everything's working. So right now our door should be open because we have our whole combination in. So if I flip up any one of these levers, our door should close up. So let's go ahead and just flip up all our levers now because we already know what our combination is. And then all you have to do now is just fill in the wall to make sure everything looks nice and even. There we go. So there's my completely hidden door right here. There we go. So now we have to go ahead and check to make sure everything is working, but everything should absolutely be working just fine. So here is my whole entire lever combination. So now what I have to do is just take out my pumpkin, put it on my head. So my first numbers are going to be A is going to be four and five. B is going to be seven, eight. Oh yeah, you know, what? let's go ahead and put it in our numbers too. So like I said, between each one. So this one's going to be A. So between these two, it's going to be A right here. So what I like to do is just put A and then A side, but you can easily just put A and then uh, done 
and then just put another A right here. I just like keeping things even. If you don't care about keeping things even, you could just put one sign that says A, but I don't know. I just like making sure everything is completely even and nice. So I'm going to come over here. So between these two right here is going to be B. So let's go ahead and just put two B signs. So B and B. And then last but not least over there is going to be C. So come between these two, look up. And this one is going to be C. So C and C. Oh, went too far. There we go. So this one is going to be, stop it. <laughs> I'm getting a little crazy here now. <laughs> this one's going to be C. So let's go ahead and put in our combination now. And I'm back. I just had a little bit of a blackout. It was like a five second blackout. But for some reason, I didn't have auto save on. So I just lost my entire tutorial. So that's fantastic. So all I did was just change the numbers on the main one that I showed off in the beginning. And I added our little numbers over here. So all I have to do is put in A between four and five, B between seven and eight, and C between 15 and 16. So <laughs> this really stinks. I can't believe I lost that whole thing. I do not know why I had my auto save turned off so we have to look between four and five and we're going to, have to flip down three six and seven so three six and number seven when we look between four and five all those three are highlighted and then over here we're gonna to have to look between seven and eight while well, between these two pumpkins so seven and eight right here so we're gonna to have to flip down six and number nine so six and number nine and then last but not least we're gonna to have to look between 15 and 16 and that will open up our door so 15 and 16 and then our secret door will open up and as you see everything is working fantastically and of course on the inside if you want to go ahead and add in a lever to close and open up your door from the inside all you have to do is just place it off the any part of this redstone any piece of this redstone right here so boop it'll close the door and then we'll open it up and like again i can't believe i just lost everything i don't know why i had my auto save turned off on minecraft but there you guys have it that is how you build a pumpkin combination lock if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my newest videos and like i said if you want to make it a lot bigger you can if you want to make it a lot shorter you can and try to come up with some crazy stuff with this build all right guys peace